small rest field on the mountainside. Pack up the tent and ride. What you say we get away from these city lights? Pack up your tent and ride. Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, and I've been an avid tent camper now for 55 years. In this video, I want to show you a procedure for evaluating a knife to see how good of a camp kitchen knife it would make. Furthermore, I want to show you my new camp kitchen knife that was custom made for me by Bill, Bill Bullard of Andalusia, Alabama. And if you don't already have a mid-size, multi-purpose food prep knife in your camp kitchen, I want to encourage you to add one. They are extremely useful tools. I want to begin this video by posing the question, if you could just have one kitchen knife, what kind of a knife should it be? Now you could cut all of your vegetables and meat and fruit and bread with a plain old table knife or with a pocket knife, but it'll be a lot of work and it probably won't look very nice. If you go to the internet and search for the best kitchen knife, you'll find more videos and articles about a chef knife than any other kitchen knife. And most of these articles and videos try to convince you, the viewer, that a chef knife is the single best kitchen knife you can buy. But a chef knife has at least one limitation for food processing. There is a long distance between the handle where you hold the knife and the tip where you would do most of your slicing. And although some of these videos and articles demonstrate ways to hold the knife to make it easier to cut small foods, I still find it very awkward and difficult to use. As a result, it is difficult to make nice, thin, controlled slices without cutting yourself. Furthermore, a chef knife is much too big to pack efficiently with your other camp cooking utensils. On the other hand, if you ask a hundred experienced campers, what is your favorite kitchen knife? The answer that you're most likely to hear is an open L folding knife. The number eight with a three and a half inch blade is probably the most popular size, but for a kitchen knife, I prefer the number 10 with a four inch blade. This knife is great for slicing small lightweight foods, such as tomatoes, okra, and green beans, but it is too light and too fragile to efficiently handle large, dense, heavy, thick foods. And so, I believe that the single best kitchen knife is a mid-size food prep knife that is smaller than a chef knife, but stronger than the open L folding knives. More specifically, here are 11 features that I look for when I'm looking for a good camp kitchen knife. And over the past five years, I have been searching for knives with as many of these features as possible. Thus far, I've not found one knife with all of these features, but I've found several with most of these features. For more information about camp kitchen knives and other good camping gear, please visit my website, moderntentcamping.com. A link is provided in the description below. And while you're there, check out my Amazon store page. So how can we evaluate some other knife in terms of its usefulness as a camp kitchen knife? I suggest that we should compare it with a chef knife and with an open L number 10 in terms of how well it is able to perform 10 common food processing chores. For this video, I decided to examine this Bullard Custom Knife in terms of its suitability as a kitchen knife. This knife has a five inch straight back blade, a 2.8 millimeter thick spine near the handle, a one and a quarter inch wide heel, and a full belly. 
Furthermore, it has a straight rather than serrated edge, a full flat grind, and it was made from 1084 carbon steel. The handle is five inches long and has a full tang design with extra holes to reduce weight. It is finished with red spacers and beautiful white micarta slabs. Overall, it is perfectly balanced and very comfortable. So I can use it to process a lot of food without hand or wrist fatigue, hot spots, or cramps. This knife design goes back over 300 years. It was a common design that was carried by French and English fur traders back in the 1700s to barter with the Native American tribes for their furs. Today it is sometimes called an English trade knife or a French trade knife or a scalping knife or a roach belly knife. Now let's see how this Bullard custom knife compares with a six inch Wooshtoff chef knife and a number 10 open L folding knife. First, let's see how these knives slice through ripe tomatoes. As already suggested, the open L knife handles this chore very easily. While the chef knife would have a little more difficulty because there's such a large distance between your hand and the tip where you'll need to do the slicing. From this video, you can see that the custom-made Bullard knife slices the tomatoes very easily. In fact, I would say just as easily as the open L knife. The second test is to see how easily these knives are able to cut off the roots and the stems of small fruits and vegetables without removing much of the vegetable or fruit itself. For this test, I cut off the stems of strawberries, and I would say on this test, the chef knife performed the poorest because it was so difficult to control the slicing tip. When my hand shook just a little bit, the tip moved a considerable different distance. And so it was difficult to find the exact spot where I could remove the stem and preserve the maximum amount of fruit. The Open L performed this test much better, as did the Bullard Custom Knife. In fact, I preferred the Bullard knife over the Open L knife because its weight allowed it to glide easily through the strawberry with a minimum amount of effort. Before we can mince garlic, we must first cut off the root and the stem in and then remove the skin. Many cooking videos suggest that you should remove the garlic skin by smashing the side of your knife against it. But you can cut yourself pretty bad if you slip. And so I suggest that you use some other flat object in your kitchen. I'm going to be using the handle of this spatula. Once the skin is removed, we can now mince the garlic. The open L knife and the Bullard custom knife both performed this task very well, while the chef knife was a little more difficult. The fourth test is to dice an onion, because we dice an onion for almost every meal. For this test, you must make several parallel cuts in one direction, and then you must make several more parallel cuts in a perpendicular direction. After making these cuts, the food will be diced into several small pieces. Now you can easily dice potatoes, onions, and carrots with both the open L knife and with the chef knife, but each of these knives has at least one limitation. The open L knife is very lightweight and thus requires a little extra effort to push through large, dense foods. The chef knife, because of the distance between your cutting hand and the tip, requires special care not to cut your fingers off. Now you'll find several YouTube videos showing you how to dice foods with a chef knife, but it's very easy to get into a hurry and not follow these procedures and hurt yourself. The next test is to dice a russet potato because we dice 
a potato several times a week for potato salad, fried potatoes, or mashed potatoes. Since the custom-made Buller knife is smaller than the chef knife, but yet heavier than the open L knife, my opinion is that it excelled in this dicing test far beyond the other two knives. The next test is to see how well the knife cuts through large melons. On this test, the open L knife required extra effort because the blade was not long enough to cut all the way through the watermelon and because the knife was so lightweight, it, it did not have the mass to easily cut through the, the melon. The chef knife, on the other hand, easily cut through this melon as did the Bullard Custom Knife. The next test is to see how easily the knife cuts through dense cabbage because we like to make either fried cabbage or coleslaw a couple of times a week. As you can see, the open L knife was a little too small for this task and the chef knife handled it much better. But I'll say that the custom-made Bullard knife was almost as good as the chef knife. Perhaps the toughest food to cut, in my opinion, is an acorn squash. And this particular acorn squash that I have today is about the toughest one I have ever cut. But Ava likes to eat acorn squash about once every week or two, and so I need to be able to cut it with a kitchen knife. The chef knife works pretty well. The open L knife has extreme difficulty with this task, and this custom-made Bullard knife performs just as well as the chef knife, if not better. Now let's cut a fresh loaf of French bread. The larger, heavier chef knife and custom-made Bullard knife cut it easily, while the smaller, lightweight open L knife has more difficulty. And I might add, when you have a sharp edge, you really don't need a serrated bread knife. And finally, I want to cut this large sirloin steak or sirloin roast into smaller pieces. For this slicing test, the smaller and more agile open L knife seemed to cut the steak easier than the larger chef knife, but the heavier medium-sized custom-made Bullard knife cut through the meat like butter. Next, I'll slice the two nicest pieces in half and freeze them so that we can cook them later as carne asada. Again, this task was easier for the open L knife than the chef knife, but the custom-made Bullard knife was also very easy, if not easier. And finally, I wanted to cut the two rougher pieces of meat into bite-sized pieces for beef stew. For this test, I'd say that the open L was the easiest to use, but the custom-made Buller knife was almost as easy. In sum, the custom-made Buller knife performed all of these food processing tasks very well, whereas the chef knife only performed a few very well and was a little too big and awkward to perform other chores. Likewise, the open L folding knife performed some of these chores very well, but struggled to perform some of the other chores. And so I hope that you'll consider adding a mid-size multi-purpose food prep knife to your camp kitchen and to your home kitchen. I know that you'll be pleased. Thanks for watching. If you think you might like a custom-made kitchen knife by Bill Bullard, here's his contact information. He usually has a few knives available for immediate sale and would be happy to talk with you about possibly making one to your specifications. You know you gotta pack up your tent and ride. Pack up your tent and ride. Good grub cooking on a fire tonight. Pack up your tent and ride.